In this video, you're going to be finding out about your self-worth, how important it is to have self-worth, and a very great metaphor that I absolutely love to help you understand your self-worth. To another video, I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. So self-worth is one of the most important things, if not the most important thing. And it needs to be taken very seriously. If you don't love yourself, how can you expect someone to love you? How can you expect to truly love someone else? And at the end of the day, love is what is eternal. Love is the thing that essentially makes the world go round. If there wasn't any love, then life wouldn't really be anything. So if you truly love yourself, you would never hate someone. You would un you would start to understand. People that are hurting, so the, a great quote is, hurt people hurt people. Someone who's truly hurting is likely to hurt someone else. It doesn't mean they always will, and it doesn't mean they have a right to, especially. But someone who has been hurt in their past is likely to hurt in their future. And that is just, it's just numbers. It literally is just uh, statistics and the, the odds, whatever it is. So use self-love very, very importantly and figure out how to love yourself. If you can truly love yourself, you no longer need approval from others. You no longer need external approval or external material objects in order to say, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. You can essentially say, I'm happy who I am. I don't need anything to make me happy. I don't need a person, I don't need a car, I don't need a watch, I don't need a, a bra. Whatever it is, I don't need something to make me happy. I am happy already. Self-love is what helps self-discipline. If, if you truly love yourself, you'll say to yourself, I'm not going to eat 10 cakes. I'm going to eat a salad. I might eat one cake because I want to give to myself, but the rest of the time I'm going to eat a salad. And I use the 80-20 Pareto's law, the 80-20 rule, and if you can use that, then brilliant, amazing, best thing to do, because life is yin and yang. You can't play all the time. You can't work all the time. You have to give yourself, and your idea of playing could be different to someone else's. Someone could be going to bungee jump, someone else could be going to meditate. They're two completely different things, but that's their version of playing. It's understanding, having self-awareness, and that's truly what self-love comes down to. If you truly are aware of who you are, what you want, You'll understand that doing things that you're doing right now that don't serve you, you will stop doing them. For example, I was when I really didn't like myself, I was drinking all the time, I was taking a lot of drugs, I wasn't happy, I wasn't healthy, I was sometimes going to the gym, then I stopped going to the gym because I, I didn't have enough self-discipline because I didn't love myself enough. And someone said, this was the, my favourite thing someone said was, if you truly loved yourself, why would you need to go and uh, get material success? Why do you need to go and do, do something in the world? Why can't you just sit on the sofa all day? If you truly loved yourself, you would go and make an impact. If you truly loved yourself, you would value what you bring to the world. If you truly loved yourself, you'd be confident enough to go and do what you needed to do. So self-love is discipline, it's taking action, it's understanding who you are and doing what you're here to do. Because we're all here for a different purpose, we're all here to do different things. You have the capability to do whatever it is that you want to do. But it comes back down to self-love. Now, this £20 note, if I folded it up, would you still want it? I'm sure you've probably heard this video before. I've, I've said it a few times. I know it's been on, online a few times. So you'd probably still take that, right? If you folded it again, if I crumpled it, would you still take it? What about if I threw it? What if I threw it at the, at the camera? Uh, throw it again. And, they, and start, you're, you're nothing, you're worthless. No matter how many times I said horrible things to it, no matter how many times I crumpled it up, no matter how many times I threw it around, it did not lose its value. £20 is £20. £10 is £10. You are priceless. You would never take any amount of money to die. You would never say, okay, I'll give you £10 trillion, but you've got to jump out of a plane with no parachute from 50,000 feet, if that's even possible. You wouldn't do it because when you hit the ground, you will die. There's no way that you're going to survive that. So there's no way you're going to be able to use the money. Without health, without capability of life, money is irrelevant. But money never lost its worth. You never lose your worth. No matter what someone says to you, you never lose your worth. How we perceive it is different. 
If you perceive it in a way that they think they don't like you, they don't like you, then re from a logical standpoint, that's their problem. If someone wants to spread hate to someone, that's their problem. That's their bad karma. And usually, people that have been bullied turn out being amazing people in life because they realise I was bullied. I never want anyone to be treated like that, and I want to make a stand for people who are treated like that. And that's where these amazing people come from. This doesn't mean that people still should bully. But do what you can, use your past and use your mess as your message. But remember, never lose your worth because you are not worthless. You are priceless, absolutely priceless. Nothing can compare to you. You are unique, never forget that. But most importantly, just say to yourself every single day, I love myself. If you can say to yourself, I love myself 100 times a day, every single day for the next year, Watch what happens. This is a very simple thing you can do. I love myself. Write it down everywhere. Write it on your mirror. Write it on your windows. Write it on your computer. Put it as your screensaver on your phone. Put it as your laptop screensaver. Every, put an alarm on your phone every two hours or even every hour or every 10 minutes saying I love myself. Remind yourself to say it to yourself. The more you say it, the more effective, uh, the more effect it has on you. That's what an affirmation is. Affirmation has to be constant. You practice affirmations once, won't do anything. You practice affirmation for 30 days, won't do anything. You practice affirmations every day, it will change your life. Every day, it will change your life, guaranteed. Now this doesn't have to be hard. You can sit there and embody the feeling of love. Bring your intention to your heart. Feel love, embrace love, because that's what you are. And remember, don't ever not love yourself because you're amazing, you're here to do so much. Take opportunities, take the opportunity to spread your message. Your message, your message. So I hope this video has given you some value today. I hope you like it. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Keep spreading love, keep spreading kindness, and keep spreading positivity.